This week in black history, all the way back in 1917, here in Illinois, there were four days of attacks on African Americans in East St. Louis, Illinois. Left over 200 folks, black folks dead, caused more than 6,000 black residents to flee the city, many of them moved to Chicago, and it became known as the East St. Louis Race War. If you don't know about it, somebody didn't teach you that, but that's what happened. That's how a lot of families got up here, because people were jealous of the black folks who took a lot of union jobs in the mills down in East St. Louis, uh, Illinois. This week in black history, 1969, some of y'all were alive then, uh, Georgia Governor Lester Maddox says he would rather close every public school in the state of Georgia than comply with the demands from the Justice Department to desegregate schools. And he meant it too. He had a lot of support. Better be careful about what you don't think is going to happen. Because it's starting to happen right now. Not, but don't sit out this election. Now look, you ain't got to like everybody, but you got to love yourself. Can we say that in church? All right, that's how we do this in our church. This week in Black History, in 2014, Michelle Howard became the first female four-star admiral in the United States Navy. She, uh, she wasn't the first black, but she was the first one, period. And she uh, served with distinction. Um, she and her husband up there on the screen, and uh, she still does uh, speaking around the country. Uh, she is now retired, but we celebrate this young lady uh, for what she was able to accomplish uh, in the Navy and in this nation. Amen. So let's give her a hand. Let's give us all a hand for knowing more. <laughs> 